you are being charged with 40 counts of murder, 38 counts of arson, and 22 counts of armed robbery. Do you have anything to say for yourself? I'm sorry. I'm just such a Scorpio, you know? Ready, Brent? Yep. Okay. So tired. Yeah, she is. Kept her up all night last night. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I really need to go to bed. <laughs> Babe, you're not gonna put your armor on me? Yeah. Pizza Let's go! Get it on your face! How much longer do we have to wear these things to school? As long as it's necessary. You need protection for yourself and for others. Well, you never use protection all the time. I always use protection! Then why do we exist? Damn it. Tastes like eight bucks, costs 17. I'm not hungry right now, but I think I will be in like 55 to 70 minutes. Should I get our order going? Well, yes, what are you guys feeling? Oh, I splurged and finally got here. My AirPods. <laughs> See you, Jeremy. <laughs> Fifth time he's been my food delivery guy. <laughs> he's also been my Lyft driver four times. He's like my butler. Know nothing about him. Trust him with my life. How's my day going? It's one of these type of days. I just delivery app to Slim Jim and a Slurpee. Pretty upset some stranger knows that about me. <laughs> it was $18. So where are you coming from? I just had a game with the Clippers. Why I smack it? What I tell you about lying in my face, dog? I told you don't be a liar. Where are you I'm coming not from? Lying. Where are you coming from? I just had a game with the Clippers. So how would the Clippers know you? Because ever since they seen me hit that three in Texas, everybody want me to be on their team. Sean, sure, I don't even want you on my team. So I know you're lying, and I'm your father. Don't be a liar, son. If you didn't play the Clippers, y'all lost by fifty. We did. Go to your room. No NBA team losing by fifty, especially one of the top teams in the league. Okay, if Kawhi played or not, what's wrong with you? What the? Spot. What? He here in the same spot. Bro, you want your haircut to be crispy, bro? I'm just saying, just hit another I'm just spot saying, bro, you want your haircut to be crispy, bro.
It's beyond me. It's a phone phone. Somebody call my phone. That's a sticky situation. Where is your phone? Phone man, phone man, get me. Where's your phone at? Mommy, go out there without your own phone. Ain't no phone down here. Wait, what the hell? Wait, here come my phone right here. You're right. Look, you're lying. That phone wasn't right there. That phone was right there. Go ahead and look at that. Let me clean your purse out. All right, watch this. Okay. <gasps> wow. Can I try? Right down the middle and swing. Okay, okay. I appreciate that little two-hour drive you took for me too. I appreciate that. Oh, no problem. Hey, and hey, your gas tank gonna eat? Yes. Okay, make sure you stop at the gas station before you get home, man. You tip my D. Is there glass in here? What? Vincent! <laughs> Vroom vroom! Oh my god, vroom. is there a car in the bathroom? <laughs> Rule number one on how to take care of a baby. Always, always stand up or walk around when you're holding that baby. Don't you ever even think about sitting down. Don't you do it. You better not. You better get up, walk around, stand up with that baby. Excuse me? Excuse me. Yes? Where's your mask? It's right here. Put it on. Put it on. Okay. Put it on. Okay. Over the nose. Okay. Over the nose. Okay. All right. Okay. You could infect someone. Okay. Well, you're pretty close. I'll wait in the corner while you pass. You know what? I'm not done. Do you know how many people are sick? Yeah, I, I know. Do you know how many people are sick? I, I know. Yeah. That's what you're doing to America. That's what you're doing. So rude. All right, let's see if Charlie's in a no sitting down mood. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so here's what I found out. If I cry before she does, all is well. Here we go, watch this. Ah! <laughs> I hate sitting in this chair. Man, this chair sucks. Come on, something wrong with Sean. Something wrong with Sean. What you mean, something wrong with Sean? Sean, what's the matter? What are you doing? I'm just cooking some spaghetti. Spaghetti? Sean, what are you putting this, the stove knife on? What is wrong with you? I just ate this cookie right here. That's an edible, Sean. Well, Ash and I left it there, and I wouldn't have ate it. Look at your eyes all cross out of man. Jerry, you write something is wrong with him, man. Oh, you read it? Rumble. Girl, Rumble, bro, you. you tripping, bro. Come on, man. Get the Sean, let's get him. Yo, get him some milk, yo. Get him some milk. Come oh, on. Yeah, put some cereal in there. Ain't no put no cereal. Let me see your face. Come on, man. What is wrong with you, dog? Let's go. Dad, can what? you call my girlfriend? Call your girlfriend? You don't have a girlfriend. Yes, I do. I'm trying Netflix and chill. You don't even know what Netflix and chill mean. You're not doing that in my house anyway. Oh, but you could have Big Brenda over eating hot chips on the grill. Get your gun away, Charlie. Listen, bro. Tonight, we're going to figure out if Santa Claus is real. I'm tired of going in my living room and seeing gifts magically appear. So tonight, I put Xanax in the cookies I left out for Santa Claus. So when he comes, he's going to fall out, and then we can tell Mr. Claus what's up. I think I hear something. Ho, 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 shit. Let's go get his ass. Cut your ass red-handed. Dad? Boy, what the hell is wrong with you? What you putting these cookies? I can't throw my legs. So sorry, man. I just wanted to see if Santa Claus was real. What the fuck I am, Santa Claus? This entire time? No, Santa is not real. And even if he was real, he didn't deserve this shit. I can't feel my kneecap. I mean, I did this to stop Santa Claus. I didn't know it was you. Man, I swear to God, when I'm able to feel my legs and knees and ankles in the next 24 hours, I'm beating your ass with cold and my belt. Hello, everybody. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. 2020 has been quite a year for all of us, and... It's been particularly hard on Santa. First of all, I've got to be careful. If anyone's at risk, it's me. I mean, I'm darn near 1,700 years old and, well, I'm overweight, so. Usually this time of year, I'm posted up at a mall, kiddos on my lap, but we're getting more mail-in lists than ever. North Pole, more like North Pennsylvania. <laughs> we're getting them on time, though. Still waiting on Nevada, actually, but. We had to move to remote work. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get elves to build toys from home? It's a disaster. Buddy, you're on mute. You've got to unmute. Oh my god. Put the 
Camera down, I can't even see you. Jeez. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get a small person to make an iPad? <laughs> I don't know how China does it. What was that? Okay, not, not elves, little people. I, I, I'm trying, I'm trying. On top of all of this, I've got to make sure I don't get canceled. Okay, for years I've been accused of kissing moms and running over grandmas. My literal catchphrase is ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that didn't age well. Ho, 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 ho. Respectful woman, respectful woman. I don't know what to do. <laughs> do you know how many times I've come down a dirty chimney, pop out with soot all over my face? That doesn't look good. Clean your chimneys. Stop taking photos of me like that. It's not what it looks like. I'm trying to keep up with the times. Mrs. Claus told me to put on the cool person beanie. I don't know. I'm supposed to fold it again? I, whatever. Netflix North Pole is garbage. What does everybody leave out for Santa? Milk and cookies. Or at least they used to. Now it's all gluten-free birdseed oat crackers and almond milk. Does it look like I, that's what I want? And the gift requests are getting more and more difficult every year. Do you have any idea how hard it is to make that many Pelotons and get them down a chimney? <laughs> Just go to the gym! Climate change is affecting even me. This is a thinner suit than usual, might even trim my beard. I need some of those zip-off pants like so many dads put on their Christmas list. <laughs> It's tough going Sahara to Siberia in one night. The nice and naughty lists have never been tougher. We have a lot of people flip flopping Ellen DeGeneres. Naughty list first time ever. Uh, Justin Bieber, finally back on the nice list. Good job, young man. <laughs> love, 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 holy. Great song. <laughs> Kanye West? We don't know where to put him, to be honest. That guy is, he's one of a kind. Alex Jones? Nice list, believe it or not. Yep, you know, that guy believes a lot of crazy stuff. Even in me. So, I have to show some love for that. <laughs> ho ho hoax. The world's changing at a rapid pace. I'm trying to stay up with the times. I'm intermittent fasting. <laughs> I'm looking forward to my cheat day on Christmas. I'm gonna have about six billion cookies. Uh, I can't complain too much. Being Santa, I only go to the good people. I avoid all the bad ones. I'm like a sheltered suburban kid. Oh, and you got this COVID-19 going to every corner of the earth. I'm jealous. I used to be the only super spreader of holiday cheer. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Claus is coming to town. Maybe. <laughs> you know how hard it is to deal with all these restrictions? I gotta keep up. Alabama, I just walk in your front door. LA County, they'll shoot my sleigh out of the sky. Do you know how hard it is to fly my sleigh with reindeer six feet apart? It's not possible. But with all that being said, Santa Claus has a job to do. And I'm fortunate to have been deemed an essential worker. So I'll, you know, I'll be, uh, I'll get it done. So you kids be looking for Santa and be good boys and girls. Oh, okay, no, turn it off, turn it off. I've heard this song 800 million times. 2020 Santa's had enough. Help me, help me out of the chair. Hello? Hey, my grandbaby. Hey, Danny, how are you? Well, my arthritis is kicking in. COVID is running the streets like a single man fresh out of a relationship. And Christmas is right up the road. Speaking of, what you supposed to be getting me? A left hook wrapped in a, a, a black eye. You just be talking. All right. You heard about Maria. I don't know Maria. Who's that? It's the lady across the street from me. It nice as can be. And she keeps her plants alive all year round. But that bitch is a thief. Nanny, why she got to be all that? Hell, she was up there stealing out the Walmart. Baby, if I'm going to steal something, it won't be out the Walmart. But I ain't got it in me to steal. So, I'm guessing what, she went to jail or what? Yeah, probably won't get out until after Christmas, too. All that money you got, you can't bail her out for her family? It's the holidays. I'm the one that called it in. Yeah. I've seen her name on the wanted list. And you know, you know Miss Francine? She not doing too good, baby. She won't be here too much longer. Yeah, I actually, I've seen that on Facebook. You know, it's crazy to me. It's always the good people that go first. That lady go to church and help out in the community. And then you got your drug addicts and everybody around here driving drunk, living their best life with not a scratch on their head. I tell you what, you definitely can say that again. Yeah, I'm going to have to stop by her house and, and deliver some flowers and also remind Francine that she owed me them $50. Nick! Nanny, you know what? You... Oh, I was watching the news last night. Didn't you come up with a Charlie Baker? Yeah, I was in the same class as him, but we, we like, never hung out or nothing. Good. Why? He was on a high-speed chase last night on the news, and, 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 and they flipped that car. I wonder if Jim Parler was in the car with him. They got, like, eight kids. Parler. That's, I know a Parler. Boy, I don't know what's going oh, on. Oh, that's Glenda's grandbaby. Ew. Why you say it like that? Whore. 
Nanny. Baby, they can't help it. It, it runs in their family. Hot in the ass, runs in their family. Mm hmm When we was coming up, Glenda had a new man every week. I mean, every week, too. Well, that makes you think. I wonder if Grandpa ever dated her. Boy, no. Yo, Grandpa ain't dabbling nothing until after he got out the service. Sat there and begged me for three whole months. I finally gave him a date. Yeah, Grandpa had that game. <laughs> Shit, nah. He had money and a car. Listen. Is your mama stopping by the church Friday? I don't know. I can ask her. Mom! Don't, you, no, you don't. Don't tell her I'm on the phone. She's going to come down here and talk my ear off and tell me everybody's business. Okay. Well, Just tell her to grab me one of those Christmas boxes. You're not going to the church with her? No. I'll be on Bingo Live. I can feel it in my bones, grandbaby. I'm going to win this week. You know Mr. Hamilton won last week. How much? Fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen, and gave it all to charity. Oh, well, I mean that's good then. I almost hung up on you, called you back, and hung up again. Nanny, he gave it to charity. What's there ain't nothing wrong with it. The problem is, when his wife passed away, that church paid ninety percent of those fees. Mm -hmm. The least he could do is give them people their money back. Well, I tell you, Nanny, you be having everybody scoop. Well, I just sit here and mind my business. Yeah, that's what you say. Lucky, who is that? Your nanny? Oh, hell no. I, all right, baby. I love you. I'll talk to you later. I love Bye. you too. Bye.